Exactly number 2000 is pretty cool. But that's a 1500s guy. Uh, it's about time I, I ran into something like this. So, Spectrius spamming Snarl is pretty decent here. I know there's a King Gambit, but it's pretty good against I spam. Like, this is decent. Great Tusk is brilliant when there is no Trick Room, but terrible when there is. I say that every time, I think. Gouging Fire is my great resist to Tulko. And Chien Pao. Mm, I could leave with Chien Pao just to Ice Spinner away the Psychic Terrain, because it's not really a switch in when terrain, when Trick Room is up. Getting a Carmine with Primarina would be decent. Definitely wanted to leave with Spectre regardless. Probably could have left the Premier in the back, but getting a Calm Mind turn one is usually a pretty good thing against these kind of teams. So that's a cool trade card. I like that. Yeah, it was just Indian Armourage. So Chen Pao would have been perfectly fine, but this is a incredibly straightforward Snarl and Calm Mind. If they switch to King Gambit turn one, good for them. I will simply Willow Wisp you the next turn and get KO to the Kowtow Cleave before the Willow goes off because Trick Room is up. Like so. Mm hmm. Solid play. Now my Throat Spray is activated so I can do some great damage with my Shadow Ball into this normal type in Didi. Still got my calm mind though, so I can go for some nice hyper voices. Is it worth just sacrificing the Spectre here? I think it probably is. I could switch into Chen Pao on the Kauto Cleave, it would take a lot. But then if they Iron Head the Pre Marina, then Sword of Ruin helps them out. So I think it's probably best to just sacrifice the Spectre here. <clears throat> Keep the Chen Pao healthy. I will attempt to Willowis. And I will just go for a Hyper Voice, I think. Do I need a second Calm Mind? I don't think I need to. I would assume the last one's Torkoal. So regardless, even though they're plus one now, my Primarine is still looking pretty decent. Yeah, it's just Kowtow Cleave. That's fair enough. Because it probably doesn't gleam as well, which should have, like, my Chen Pao would have taken a lot. It should have lived, but it would have taken a lot. Yeah, it just doesn't gleam. This, this tickles the Free Marina. I think I recover back up to full with lefties. So that's quite funny. And that's just about a two shot on the King Gambit. Take that. So it should be Gouging Fire, Double Protect, then Heat Crash and Hyper Voice, right? I see no real downsides to that. But again, I will just pause for a bit, so it seems like I'm thinking hard, even though I knew I was going into Gouging Fire immediately. They have Swords Dance. Whoops. But it's a bit late for that now. It's three, isn't it? Yeah. I see no downside to a double protect here. If they have Swords Dance, you know, they've already made one good play. They're not going to make a second, right? That's how it works. Alright, attack gouging fire. Okay, it was just King Gamut into... King Gamut? No, Pre-Marina. That's what I'm going for. It will still hurt, but that won't KO, right? And that's why I didn't want the Chimp out on the field, because then it might have done. I think I can afford to Howl, right?
because based on the damage that was done, this should KO the King Gambit. And now I will no longer KO the King Gambit because this is going to KO me. Should have factored that in, shouldn't I? Should have gone for the Heat Crash. That was a terrible play from me. Because I even, like, that was what, like, the Heat Crash and Hyper Voice was what I was thinking about in the previous turn. But didn't do it. Because it was always just going to be Hyper Crash and Heat, Heat, Hyper Crash and Heat Voice. Heat Crash and Hyper Voice. Now I have to, um, just tear it, well, I was going to tear Electric anyway. So, it doesn't really matter. So they're going to Iron Head the Gem Power and Staz and Gleam here. But I will live that. <clears throat> Do I need to Howl? Like, but like, Howl would be pretty sweet again, right? Yeah, I need to Howl so that I'd be able to KO the Armor Rouge. So I'll Howl. And which one do I KO? It's the King Gambit, right? And I'll do it with Terror Blast in case they get fancy with the Terror. That's alright. So I'm assuming that a plus one Terror Blast and also a plus two Breaking Swipe would be a KO into Armor Rouge. And if it's not, then I'm going to lose. But I'm pretty sure it will be. Good, they did have sword stance. So I'm perfectly content with my play. Wait, no I'm not. Because Psychic Drain disappears and now I can Sucker Punch. No, I've messed that one up again. If I'd have gone for the Sacred Sword there, I was fine. Because they can set Trick Room again. I need to live. I can't afford Trick Room to go up. I can't afford to Sucker Punch them so that Trick Room doesn't go up, right? Because they get the Psychic Drain back. I have to live the plus three Sucker Punch. I don't, but I have to. And if there's Terra Grass, then they'll live. It is Terra Grass. That's a solid play. Yeah, I messed this one up. That's twice in a row I've made bad plays. Yeah, there's a sucker Into gouging, gouging fire, though. What? Wow. Impressive. Yeah, that, that was... This has been completely mismanaged by me. So it should have been Heat Crash on the Howl turn. Okay, the King Gambit, and then I'm still sorted. It should have been... Um, Sacred Sword on the previous turn as well, but well, the game is definitely over. So yeah, I've, I messed that one up completely. Bit annoying, but I need to get good. And I don't want don't to keep using the excuse of like I've just clocked out, like mentally clocked out of this GC, but that was objectively poor. Like, I did, did think, well, I will just double protect, and then I'll heat crash and hyper voice the King Gambit, and then I'm sorted, and then for some reason I changed my play to Howl, and that, and that was bad. And then I was still going to be fine if I just went for Sacred Sword KO into the King Gambit, because then they haven't done have Sucker Punch. Breaking Swipe a plus two is a KO into Ndidi for sure. And then I will KO the Armor Rouge. And yet, messed up completely. 1600s guy, though. Pretty standard team. Go with Spectria for this one. Spectria Prime Marina seems pretty decent. <coughs> Great Tusk could be decent, except when we're in Trick Room. I do want Chen Pao, but do I want Gouging Fire or Great Tusk? I'm just going to assume I'm not in Trick Room. 
Like I said, I, I, I'm not giving too much thought to these. I probably should, but... I'm in the mindset of just, I want to get this over with. I hate the GC. Never goes well, so I'll just get it over with. If they go with Frigoroff and... Frigoroff and Incineroar, then Primarina is looking very good. Just the, well, it's just the Ogre Bomb, really, that would be the concern. It's a cool trainer card. Well, there it is. I'll take this for sure. So I will snarl and I will calm mind. And something good happens. If they attempt to knock off, yes, they get 60% on my Spectria, but I also get calm mind. And if they fake out the pre marina, then I've got my throat spray activated for free. Knock off won't be as good, and I can just terror blast on the next turn. And also the fridge giraffe is weakened, and for some reason they're going for a terror for no reason. This this was not the position to go for a Terra. Unless this is Terra Blast. <laughs> like, you know, it's the GC. <laughs> this is Terra Blast, like, I, I'm not even mad. It's the GC. It's, it's totally Terra Blast, isn't it? I mean, I should live this knockoff, because I live a regular knockoff. I'm pretty sure, if I remember right. When I still have the Throat Spray. Yeah, it's knockoff, but I shouldn't have. Because my EVs are so clutch. You know, at least I still have that going for me. <laughs> I'm so good at EV spreads. <laughs> Alright, let's double this for a draft then. Let's go for a Snarl and a Moonblast. That should be a KO. Unless that. No, actually, no, this is going to activate Citrus Berry, isn't it? Because I've got Throat Sprayed now. So then they will survive. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. Though. To be fair, I probably should have come mined it again. Unless I just crit! Almost. Not the special attack drop, though. I'll take it. But they didn't trick room. Interesting. Fighting chop? No, just knock off. I'm content losing my lefties. Because you've terrored now. It's a terrible terror on turn one. Now I just get to go to Gem Power and I click Hyper Voice and Ice Spinner and you can't do anything. Wait. Like, switch to Ogre Pond, sure. Maybe I should Moonblast the Frigiraffe just in case. Nah. They're not switching to Ogre Pond. It's fine. They are switching to Ogre Pond, but too late. They're not, so I made the correct play. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure why that was the terror on turn one. I guess, like, to be like to be fair, Pre Marina, it's a water type. It would have done good damage to Incineroar. Very confident that was not worth it, though. And there, look at that. That's a pathetic Dazzling Gleam. We speed tied on the Frigiraff and Pre Marina, right? I think I moved first last time. Yeah, because I got the special attack drop, didn't I? Oh, wait, like, it doesn't matter. Like, at this point, it doesn't matter. And there is the Ogre Pond. And they can't Terra the Ursa Luna anymore. What did I have in the back of this last one? It was um, Great Tusk, wasn't it? So I should double into this um, Ogre Pond. Because then I can just close combat the Ursa Luna whenever I want. If they Spiky Shield and attack with Ursa Luna, that's a solid play. Primarina surviving the turn, though. I'd be amazed if Primarina gets KO'd here. It would have to be Earth Power 
and also Ivy Cut. Well, maybe Horn Leech and Earth Power would KO, but... Oh, they did spike shield. Good play. Solid play. Not so solid play. Like, that That was not good. Double Protect there achieved nothing at all. So just, just some advice for people. If, if your play, outside of, like, choice items, is Double Protect to see what the opponent's going to do, that's a bad play. Because you've taken away one of your options for nothing. I'm doing exactly the same thing. Not changing anything. But now, you don't have the option to go for the good play, like, would be good play in this situation of Spiky Shield, and attack with the Earth Luna. So, as far as I could see, that was a I will protect to see what my opponent's going to do kind of double protect. And that's not a good play. Outside of, like, choice items. Obviously, if you're double protecting, see what they lock into. That's decent. But even with the Sword of Ruin, I was fine. And then this is a KO. I wasn't scared about the Ivy Cudra KM, by the way. My EVs are clutch, as you've already seen in this game specifically. <clears throat> and then it's just Great Tusk, close combat, game over. I'll take it. Pretty sure that KO is from full without the Sword of Ruin as well. We don't get to find out, but I'm pretty confident in that fact. Great Tusk is strong. Back in the 1600s. It's alright. That's a 1500s person, so... Legit team. Gouging fire is very good when Landorus is not around. I've said that multiple times. Surely should know what my game plan is against this at this point. Go with this, I think. And I think this. Is the Oak upon that great here? Nah, it's fine, don't care. It'll be fine. Music. Oh yeah, I remember it. Okay, no booster energy, so I'd assume specs. Oh yeah, I remember this music. Yeah, this is cool. Um, Do I want to consider Terra firing just to get the KO on the Fluttermane for sure and not take much damage from the Fairy moves? Because that would open me up to just being KO'd to certain strikes and then Bleak Wind Storm would follow up with a KO. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. I will simply Heat Crash and put them in range. Instead of, um... Sucker Punch instead. And they're committing their Terra Fairy already, which is pretty sweet. Ooh, 
they didn't tell me to play. Yep, just has some gleam. So the next turn I can burn in Bulwark and attack with Ogre Pond. It's good damage. Wait, no I can't, because Bleak Wind Storm's gonna KO my Gouging Fire. No, it's not, because Bleak Wind Storm's a terrible move. Nice. So now I'll burn in Bulwark here, and then... Do I KO the Fluttermane here? So I can just suckle punch it when I want now. And I be cudgel into the Tornadus. This is Incineroar. It's Urshifu. I'm very, very upset I did not attack the... Like, what? What was that switch? What? I'm very sad now. So that was just a bit of chip to hopefully put it into E Crash range in the future, but that was a weird switch with, from Urshifu. But that's a weak Tornadus. Speed drop means they can just bleak with Storm again, though. So. Yeah, this has not been the most ideal of turns. If I'd have just KO'd that Urshifu, that would have freed up my Chen Power a lot. So, not happy about that one. Bit of an odd switch. Assumedly, they're going to U-turn the Ogre Bond here. Or Surgeon Strike, same thing. Could have considered switching to Pre-Marina there. Big damage. That's good damage. Oh no, but yes, Rocky Helmet, that's gonna put me in range of Bleak Wind Storm for sure. But that's alright, now they're in Sucker Punch range. Like, two things are in Sucker Punch range now. And I can Moonblast KO this Urshifu at this point. I will attempt to heat crush the Tornado, assuming I'm gonna be KO'd, and. Moonblast into the Yashfu. They've already used their Terra, so they can't Terra out of this KO. However, they are not Choice Scarf, so that's annoying. I'll take the dodge on Pre Marina, though. <coughs> now, if they have Rain Dance, things are not looking good. Sucker Punch here. Moonblast here. Like, Rain Dance just wins the game, there's nothing I can do. I've said this in previous. Of these matches, I have to play as if they're not going to Rain Dance. Because if they Rain Dance and certain strikes to Champ out, I lose, there's nothing I can do. So I have to just play as if they are going to Blink Wind Storm. Also, they need to not be focused Sash, but yeah, there's the Rain Dance, so I can't do anything here. I could have done something. Why didn't I Terra? I thought I'd, like, in my head I was terroring. Why didn't I Terra? Yeah, like, what? That was weird. Because in my, in, my, in my head, like, the thing, I was going to Terror Electric. Just because in case they close combat for some reason. But I didn't, so that's weird. I mean, I still have Terra Steel available now, right? So I get Hyper Voice double KO. Do I protect on this turn? I don't think there's any need, right? Just Hyper Voice and hope that Primarina beats that thing in the back.
I'm trying to think we'll remember what they were. We lose to Landorus now. If it's Incineroar. I'm a, oh, they have Thunderbolt, okay. So yeah, it has to be Incineroar for me to be able to win now, doesn't it? And if it is, like, uh, give, having to play for it to be Incineroar Protect would have been bad there, because it could have stalled out a turn of rain. And then Incineroar would have been able to Flare Blitz in the not rain. But if it's Landorus, I just lose. And if it's other thing, I think I just lose. Can't remember what it was. Rillaboom. It might be Rillaboom. Don't think I'd be Rillaboom. I might be Rillaboom. Yeah, it's Rillaboom. So they don't have a higher horsepower. It's definitely possible. This is definitely Protect this time. Get that recovery. Yeah, high horsepower is almost certain loss, unless I dodge. But if it's just Woodhammer, maybe. Turn. I could have probably got away with just attacking, except the fake out chip, because this would have been an extra round of recovery here. So do they have high horsepower, or is it just Woodhammer? It's just Woodhammer. This is still probably doing too much. Yeah. Yeah, it's doing too much. Alright, triple attacks. Here we go. How much did it do? It did like 90, didn't it? It was 90 something. <clears throat> yeah, so another. Another one, because I'm recovering, recovering 11 each time. So it'll put me to 99. If I get the double protect, I don't get it, so that's fair enough. Yeah. Oh well. That was, again, my mistake for not Terror Electricing. Like, in my head, I had just Terror Electric, so I lived a close combat fight. They went for that. But apparently I didn't, so whoops. And we drop even further. Uh, just a couple more episodes to go. Not too much longer.